Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, uh, this is, I mean, this happened today. Okay. Or, like, re- very recent, so very, you probably don't recent. even know about it yet. Okay. And uh, it'll be pretty fresh when it comes out on Monday. Uh, there was a terrorist attack in Russia. Okay, yeah, I heard about this. Yeah. I heard about that. Well, so essentially what happened is I think five or six guys mm-hmm. went to a concert venue. It, it only holds 6,000, so I don't know if it was like a uh, – like a, like a, it didn't look like it was a rock band concert, more of like a symphony sort of concert. Yeah. Um, started like – went in with like machine guns, uh, killed 40 people, injured That's like 100. insane, man. Uh, That's insane. And the weird part is like there's videos online that people are just like – people are just standing there like recording the people shooting people instead of like trying to run and hide. It was weird. Really? Um and somehow the building caught on fire and like the roof was collapsing or I don't know. Like there, I didn't get too deep in the woods on it, but the, here's the most wild part is two weeks ago was today. The 20th, 21st. Well, I don't even know today. <laughs> two tw- weeks, 20 ago. something. Sure. On the eight, I think it was like the eighth. The U S government put out like a warning saying there's going to be a terrorist attack in Russia Watch out for gatherings of large people. Watch out for concerts. Watch out for, like, whatever. And then, like, two days later, the Russian government was like, oh, we thwarted an attack. And then here we are two weeks later, a six-person and, armed uh, man yeah. attack on a theater. Huh. And, like, but Russia's trying to say that Ukraine did it and, like, whatever. Of course. Of course. You know, and, like, I think, yeah. And I, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Well, right, if but anybody, but what if, they're saying is like I think, and, and I don't know how true this is, but they said that back when Putin was coming into power, he did like a false flag operation on like bombed a bunch of apartment buildings and like blamed it on Chechnyans, Chechnyans, and that's why they went and like took that for like Crimea and all that stuff from Ukraine in the mm-hmm. first place. Um, so like people are saying like, is it an inside job? They're trying to get people riled up against like Ukraine because I don't think Ukraine would do like a terrorist attack to go into a concert and murder civilians. <laughs> That that is kind of true. That's that's the part. Like, would they go into like a military thing and do? So- yeah, maybe. But I don't think they're just gonna bust into a concert and murder civilians like yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, it could be extremists. Uh, when when it deals with speculation, it's really it is kind of hard to determine who who would necessarily do it. Um, obviously you got to have motive and I would say it's like, you know, Ukraine definitely has the motive to do it. Right. But they said that no one has taken responsibility. You know, every time there's an attack, like, you know, uh, you know, all the different tor- terrorist organizations be like, oh yeah, we did that. Yeah. I don't, it's, it's hard to say like who would, because it's like, it's such a, a terrible act to like go into a place where like civilians like are just people, hanging out watching a music. Yeah, these people have nothing to do with the conflict that you have with with the administration, and it's like to go there and take those lives. Yeah, like I, I definitely don't really like you know have any love for Russia right now with the fact that they're seemingly well, just yeah. going going in and just like killing people anyway with their military campaigns. Yeah, yeah. But on the same note, I don't have anything against the Russian people. Well, I mean, right. A lot right. of them probably feel the, the same average. Way. I don't know what a common name. The average Joe in what Russia would be. The average uh, Leonard. Is Leonard a <laughs> Russian name? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't. They don't have anything to do with this, and they don't have. They don't have a really like a horse in a race. Whatever happens is kind of just happening out of their. Well, control. right, and they're the ones that are like getting yeah. the effects on the economy and all the sanctions and all that sort of stuff. It's it's pretty crazy. Like I couldn't imagine. You're like. I don't even want to use this analogy, but there's like an analogy about fish in a barrel, but it's true because like you're in a concert hall and there's like two exits. There's only two, like there's very few ways to get out of it. I would hope that the fire marshals over in, you know, at Russian well, fire too- marshals, we don't know. Well, right. But like you go to, I mean, you, you, I know you haven't been to tons of concerts or not your thing, but we've went to a couple concerts together but yeah, and there's like. There's two ways to get out of that, B. And, like, if someone, if people are standing at the gate with guns, like, what are you going to do? Hop a fence? Like, you ain't, you're, like, literally trapped. There's nothing you can do. And that is terrifying. It's very terrifying. Which is why they're terrorists. It's, it's, it's so crazy, Jonas. It's like, we were talking about this morning how, like, your life can just be snuffed out, like, a moment. 
and and you were talking about your experience. I was watching something on uh on on uh, what do you call that on the Reddit the other day. Okay, oh the and Reddit. Oh Jesus, yeah, that's the, where we're at. On the Reddit. On the Reddit. I didn't plural it yet. When I start saying the Reddits, that's when. Well, it's, really it's already dead because it went public this week. No, oh, so, yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's 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 a, we're gonna watch. I mean, we've been watching a slow death for there's a while. Still, there's still pornography on there. Either way, I, and there was still me being able to see uh. What was it? I think it was it was Russian drone strikes. I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Either way, I, I saw it wasn't drone, on Pornhub. I saw a drone. I think it was like Palestinian or maybe it is Israeli drone strikes on Palestinians is what the caption said. But who knows? You can yeah, never really yeah. tell. But either way, you just see like guys walking down the street, and then you just see an explosion, and there's no more guy. And it's like that guy was just walking, thinking about like what he was going to eat tomorrow. He's like, God damn, I'm hungry. Wonder if they got a five dollar foot long at Subway. Exactly. And if I can't think of anything that's more terrorizing than that, like there's there's the whole idea of you at a concert and then a bunch of guys come in with guns. There's a chance you can escape that. The most terror terrorizing thing I could think is you're walking down the street thinking about, you know, just life in general. Oh, there's my car. Boom. And it's gone. I think the most terrorizing thing is imagining being uh Capture, captured and waterboarded for information that you don't know, but they think you do. I, I'd have to admit, I have to admit that being tortured is pretty terrorizing. Well, it'd be one thing if like you had the info and you could tell them. The other is like they think you have it and you don't. I mean, and they're terrorizing you for and torturing you, and you literally can't even save yourself. I feel like you would live though, right? If you don't know, if you don't know the information, it'd be like. But really everyone don't. says they don't know the information. If they think uh, you have it, they're going to torture you till you die. And you have no information to kill. Give them. He's not talking, sir. <laughs> right. Put put hammer nails. Break nail it up. Jonas knows something. Yeah. Hammer nails into his toes. You know what I mean? Like, oh. Bro, you got the wrong guy. I don't know. Hey, I'm right. from yeah. Ohio. Yep, yep, yeah. Cut off his eyelids. I don't... You know what I mean? And, like, <laughs> just the more it goes, you're just like... <laughs> Look, okay, so... Part of my being is saying is that I don't think it's going to get that far, Jonas. I think you just watch too many movies. But on the same note, I don't know. So you may be right. I imagine in, in like a war conflict. I would like to think that I live on a planet where that is not the case. And they'd be like, maybe this guy doesn't know anything after we've, you know, done enough to him. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, what's enough? Taking six of your toes, ripped off your toenails, pulled out your teeth, stabbed you with darts. And then I, be like, okay, I guess he doesn't know anything. I guess it comes down to it. It's like, as Americans, we need to stop bitching. I feel like we need to stop about complaining. anything because we don't have it that bad. Yeah, bro, I feel like seriously, it's not that bad because I don't have to walk down the street and necessarily worry about a drone strike taking me out. You know? Oh, dude, like, well, I, I, know, I was thinking about that the other day. It was like, you know, like cities like Kiev and in, in Ukraine, like yeah. people are like living and then all of a sudden there's just explosions. Exactly. What if we were like sitting here in the crazy town compound recording this and just like the building next to us just blew up because Mexico shot a rocket at it? You know what? In that moment, it wouldn't mean anything. But the the uh, the ripple effect, it's really is when you the come fear to fear is what it is when you come when you come to the realization that your old life is over. Is when it really hurts. Yeah, well, it's like when you realize pre it's like, and post September 11th. Yeah, when you realize that you'll never get to sit at your desk again. When I realize that I'll never drive my car to my place of employment and like put in another eight hour, twelve hour shift or anything. That's when it really hits you. Well, right. It's because like no, nothing the, will ever be the same. Well, the in the fear of over. like I can't go anywhere, they might shoot it with a rocket. Yeah. Like any of that. That's just terrible. Yeah. And that's and like that's your, your, what they do. When your money stops mattering. Right. It doesn't matter how much money you have because like you can't do anything. Or like yeah. the people it's just like you don't know when someone's gonna barge into your house and pull you out of it and like yeah. whatever. Or, All the food you stored in the refrigerator, that shit don't matter. This is sobering. This is very yeah, sobering. It's been a very sobering episode. I like that. I had more places to go, but I don't remember and we're out of time. <laughs> Either when the way, timer goes off, I'm like a goldfish. I'm like, what? Huh? Who huh? Food? <laughs> Either way, uh, 
I wish the best to, you know, all the innocent people. Man, God who bless lost. all those folks, man, because shit's wild, dude. <laughs> my, my heart goes out to all the innocent people who lost their lives in that terrorist attack. Got maimed it's, or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's senseless violence, but uh, it, it could happen anywhere. And I would say is that you got to stay awake. Stay woke, man. Stay woke. Keep your stay eyes woke. open. Keep your head on the swivel, man. The world is crazy right now. Exactly. So that's all the time we have today's episode. Please go to thecrazyhound.com. For Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.